We come across the word density in our day-to-day -day life. Density is the most fundamental property which has a great impact on almost everything in nature. Let's know more in depth about density and how density affects on various levels. The property of density is known to be discovered by Archimedes. Density is the ratio of mass per unit volume. This could be better visualized. Let's say two boxes. Box 1 with 4 mass balls and box 2 with 1 mass ball. The mass per volume of box 1 is 4 units and the mass per volume of box 2 is 1 unit. Thus we can say that more is the mass packed in a given volume, more is the density. We see that density plays a major role in many places. Like in an X-ray, denser material attenuate more X-rays, which is why where there is a boom, there is less radiation that strikes the photoplate. Density also plays a major role in boiling of water. As the water is heated, the density of the water at the bottom of the vessel decreases and the water above it moves down due to a higher relative density which makes the process possible. This is known as heat convection. If the density of the hot water would not have decreased, then there won't be heat convection which would cause vaporization of water at the bottom of the vessel reducing the rate of heat transfer. This would result in formation of more vapors at the bottom and at some point water would spill out of it without being much heated. Thus the process of boiling would not be possible. Another importance of density is observed when we add water to hot oil which causes fire. Water being denser than oil tries to settle at the bottom but it gets vaporized half the way. This is because the boiling point of oil is higher than that of water. During this process, some of the water molecules break down, releasing elementary oxygen. Oil being a hydrocarbon acts as a fuel. Now we have all the elements required for combustion and this results in the fire. Suppose if the density of water was less than that of oil, the water would remain on the top of oil and would vaporize at some point and would not result in fire. Did you know? that the most dense particle in the universe is neutron. With a density of 1.8 into 10 power 17 kg per meter cube, a spoonful of neutron would weigh as much as all the humans on earth. Also, the lightest material known is aerographite, which with a density of 180 gram per meter cube is 7 times lighter than air. We observe that most of the solids are denser than that of liquids or gases. But why does an ice cube which is a solid floats on water? Well, this is a topic for another video. But what if the ice cube didn't float? The ice would sink at the bottom which would result in the cooling of water and would further result in the formation of ice. If the cold period persists for a certain period with sufficient availability of ice, then the whole planet would turn into an ice ball, reflecting sun's radiation which would further cause cooling making the whole planet inhabitable. Let us build a fictional vehicle using the concept of density. The vehicle would be mostly empty and the volume can either be replaced by air or water. The density of the vehicle should be less than that of air due to vacuum inside it, making it to float in air. When the vehicle is to land, the density of the vehicle can be increased by filling air inside it. Similarly, by filling it with water, it can act as a submarine, thus making the vehicle to travel in both the medium. If thrusters are added to it, horizontal motion can be achieved, making it a fully functional vehicle.